Hello everybody, how's it going? Uh, Nas here and you're watching Nostalgic Reviews and uh, this is what we're reviewing today and unboxing. But um, so you guys know that uh, Porsche isn't like my absolute uh, um, car or company that I collect the most of. Uh, with that being said, I got nothing against Porsche. I love them, uh, especially this design, this body style, this body type. Look at that beauty. So uh, I just, uh, you know, I'm more of a Mustang guy. I'm more of a JDM guy, a BMW guy. Uh, Porsche are small, like, they're awesome. They're badass. They're very important to, uh, you know, to the whole automotive culture, if not one of the most important ones. Like, Porsche is amazing. And um, so, yeah, I really, uh, I wanted to have uh, a few different examples of Porsches in my collection. And uh, this will be one of them. Uh, stay tuned. There's uh, plenty more coming soon. Like, for example, I'll be doing uh, an unboxing and review and comparison of these two uh, Philadelphia RWBs. And uh, they are from two different companies. Very different cars. So that's coming soon. And I'm also going to be doing this beautiful little uh, Hune, <laughs> Hune Pegasus. Hune Pegasus. I always have trouble like remembering that. But this is very important. Um, you can see the little ghost stain 43. Uh, this one's going to be in, in, uh, in memory of uh, Ken Block. So uh, this one's coming up soon as well. So, but today we're doing this, so let's get this unboxed and uh, open to get rid of this unrecyclable plastic. And uh, I can't wait to look at this closer because this is such a beautiful looking car and that color is just fantastic. So uh, let's cut this open. Okay, let's get this party started. Okay, so as I always let you guys know, I... Uh, really dislike this uh, double packaging like it's packaging for packaging I really dislike it uh, that's why I film it oh no I might have uh, scraped the box a little bit we'll check it out no big deal I'm not here to collect boxes again I'm here to collect the die cast and the box is just there to uh, when I move or need to transport the cars or sell them because I need a kidney uh, <laughs> that's the reason why I saved these boxes. Let's see, did I damage this? From the looks of it, I did not. Oof. Cool. Lucky me. So here's the box. This is the RUF CTR Anniversary. Bayrish. Uh, Bayrish Himmelblau. Bayrish Himmelblau. Bayrish Himmelblau uh, Porsche. Uh, there you go. As I like to call them, porch. This is number 562. I love the typical mini GT boxes, the shiny and the flat. And uh, there you go. Oh yeah, and of course I gotta remind folks that uh, these do come with uh, more plastic on the inside, so you don't need to save the little thing right here. You don't need to save this little thing right here, because uh, there's another thing right here. So. There you go. So with that being said, let's uh, take a look at this thing, man. Uh, I'm also going to save the insert and then throw the rest of this plastic in the trash. And uh, we'll get that going. Cool. So, uh, yeah, wow. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's take a look at this thing. Right. Yeah. Um, first impression? I am freaking impressed what a beautiful little casting huh look at that even the mini gt base is a little bit different that is metal of course rubber tires of course look at those beautiful translucent clear headlights love the little ruf right there perfect Wonderful, man. Silver little indicators there painted on. The grill. Let's see what's going on with these rear view mirrors. Is there a chrome sticker there? 
I'll use my eyes. No, no, no chrome stickers, but they look nice. Uh, the rear tail lights are, they are translucent red plastic with a little bit of silver detail added to them. That's beautiful. So keep in mind that's not painted on. Uh, tail lights, uh, tail lights, uh, exhaust pipes are part of the base casting. Very nice. Um, these little vents here are painted on, but you can like feel the uh, texture on there. Very nicely done. All the paint on this is flawless. Here's your top view. The interior is all black, but detailed nicely. Look at that uh, steering wheel, it's really nice. This thing's really cool, man. Yeah, like, um, as far as Porsches go, I love, uh, I forget the style that this is called where the headlights pop out like this. I love the Porsches with this style. I'm not a big fan of when they, like, incorporated them into the line of the uh, front trunk here. Like, it still looks cool, uh, but this is definitely uh, a Porsche that I would drive because that's just awesome. And I remember my dad, um, he didn't own a Porsche, but he drove one around for a while. And uh, he told me that he wasn't a fan of it because it was too rattly and too, like, uncomfortable. Which later I learned that that's just kind of like how it is because it's built for driving, you know, it's built to fuel the road. I love these little intake, uh, air intakes right there on the back. That's cool. I believe this is called the duck bill or whatever. But yeah, man, um, I love this thing. I love the color. I love the, I'm not sure what year this is. It doesn't necessarily specify on here, but uh, maybe 91, I don't know. If someone knows, let me know uh, what your Porsche this is. So yeah, I love that it's a special edition, the roof thing. Um, uh, anniversary edition, I guess, which is still special edition. Collector's model. I'm trying to see if there's any other information. All rights reserved. Yeah. Cool. Well, guys, let me know in the comments if you're a Porsche guy or lady. Uh, <laughs> let me know uh, what year this is. I'm thinking like early 90s, right? Maybe late 80s, something like that. But yeah, love having this in my collection. Um, there you go, guys. The Porsche has entered the nostalgic collection. <laughs> So yeah, thank you for watching this review with me, guys. Uh, that'll do it, man. It's a quick, short one. Uh, love this thing, man. All right, see you in the next video, y'all. <laughs>